Welcome everyone. This interesting question given to us are two equilateral triangle with their bases in a straight line. The vertex of these two triangles are joined as shown in the figure. The length of this green and purple line segment is 18 and 8 cm each. Exciting part is using this limited data we have to find the length of this red line segment or value of x. Okay, let's check this elegant solution. Slightly lengthy but very interesting solution. To start with, let's assume the side length for this bigger triangle is A cm each. For the smaller triangle, it's B cm each. It's an equilateral triangle. So this angle here will be 60 degrees and this angle will also be 60 degrees. This FC length is what we have to find. Time being, let's remove this length and this angle in between, this will also be 60 degree as BCD they are in straight line. Now if you'll check this yellow triangle here, this has got side length A and B and angle between them is 120 degree. Same logic in this green triangle side lengths are A and B and angle between them is 120. So we can say by side angle side these two triangles are congruent to each other. As the triangles are congruent, thus corresponding angles will be equal. So we are talking about this angle B here. This will be equal to angle A in the other triangle. So angle B in the green triangle, if this angle is beta degree, then angle A in the yellow triangle will also be beta degree. How about this angle here? So for this angle, consider this yellow triangle and apply angle sum property. So this angle will be 180 minus 120 minus beta. So that will be 60 minus beta. And how about this angle E here? So in this green triangle, again applying angle sum property, we'll get this angle as 60 minus beta. Now let's join this FC again. And this value of X is what we have to find. Now this FC length, it's subtending an angle of beta degree at point A and it's subtending an angle of beta degree at point B. By theorem, if a line segment subtends equal angle at two points, then those two points and the points of line segment, they are, they line a, on a same circle. So we can draw a circle passing through all these four points. And if you'll see A, B, C, F, it's a cyclic quadrilateral and angle F and angle B, they will be supplementary. B is 60, so angle F will be 120 degree. Same logic, we can prove that FC is a line segment subtending angle at point D and angle at point E, equal angles. And thus, all these points, point E, D, C, F, they are cyclic. And in this cyclic quadrilateral, angle D is 60 and thus angle F that will be 120 degree. Now if you will consider this pink triangle here, it has got angle as 120 and second angle is 60 minus beta. By angle sum property, this angle here will be beta degrees. Now this pink triangle, it has got angle as beta and 120 degree. Also this yellow triangle AFC, it has got two angles, angle beta and 120 degree. So by angle angle similarity, we can say that triangle AFC is similar to triangle CFE by angle angle similarity. As the triangles are similar, thus the ratio of corresponding sides will be equal. So here we can say that AF upon FC, that will be equal to CF upon FE. Putting the values here, AF is 18. FC is X we have to find and FE is 8 which is given to us and solving it cross multiplying it will get X square is 144 and X is 12 centimeter and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then tata bye bye.